wanted to take a quick second to talk about, uh, this is my first video, my first response since uh, confronting Dr. Kevin Sabet at the uh, Walden Forum. I did call him disingenuous in public. Uh, it, that was a tough, tough moment for me. I was in a room, I don't know if people realize how, how hostile that environment was. Uh, it's the first time I think I've ever spoken in, a long, in quite a while in a room full of people that were totally against marijuana reform. I was pretty much the only person in that room on my side. There was one other person recording video for me. Um, at a certain point, you, you did see my questions to Kevin, and then you saw the video shut down. Uh, what happened after was actually even more interesting. Uh, Kevin kind of had a you know laugh at it, Dr. Kevin Sabet. He actually handled it fairly well, as, I, as did I. The people who didn't handle it well were the people in the crowd. They were really acting up, acting like nitwits, uh, reefer mad people. It, it was really, you know, the, the moderator actually grabbed me by the elbow and was telling me to step away from the microphone, uh, which I responded. And, and you've got to keep this in mind. This was on live television. This was broadcast in all the Wayland, uh, Wayland, uh, Wayland homes with cable. It was on Wayland uh, cable access television. And it was also uh, going into a lot of other communities. I think they said there was like 14 or 15 different towns that this was being broadcast live on. So this happened live. He grabbed me by the elbow, told me to step away from the microphone, and at which point I responded and said, "Sir, get your hands off me! Don't touch me!" And he did. He did. He did take his hand off my elbow. Um, I then had a good laugh about the whole thing. Kevin kind of had a laugh, and and kind of answered the question, and then he went back to his old disingenuous self. Um, I'm not going to back down. You know, I'm. I, I, it was one of those moments when you know you ever see Network when the when the when the main lead character in that movie has that moment when he says, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. That's exactly where I am on this medical marijuana campaign. I've just had enough. I've had enough of the lying and the misrepresentation and the, and the cherry picking of certain little facts for your own benefit, not telling the voters of Massachusetts the truth. I never, I, I never lie or, or am dishonest about where I'm coming from or the facts as they exist, whether they're for me or against me. And I feel like this other side has totally done that. They've been disrespectful to the voters. They've lied about us. Um, this story just came out in the Somerville News uh, from the opponents of question three. More of the same old BS. Uh, this Corey Mashburn is talking about uh, how we should do Marinol instead of uh, the cannabis leaf, which I want the cannabis leaf. Um, Dr. Kevin Sabet was complaining about his now 10% THC and how harmful that is and it gets people high. And then he turned around and the same with Corey Mashburn and said that I should be on Marinol, that I should take prescription Marinol, which is what? It's 100% THC. So they wanted me to take something in pill form that's going to get me 10 times higher than the leaf and that will last 10 times longer than the leaf. I don't want it. I don't want the strong. I don't want crack cocaine. I want, you know what I mean? Like the Marinol compared to... To the cannabis leaf that I use is way stronger. I don't want that. I want, and it's more expensive. I want the cannabis leaf. I want medical marijuana to pass. Medical marijuana patient. It's time to make this plant legal in Massachusetts. Uh, Somerville News, you know, it was a one-sided piece. People commented. People didn't like what Corey was saying. They felt like there was a lot of misinformation. Like I said, they were commenting on it, which I really love. Our community is so strong, we don't let anyone get away with it anymore. We comment, we tell them what's going on. Uh, because of that, the Somerville News has actually contacted me, and there's going to be a big write-up uh, this coming week, in print, online, uh, with my with my feedback, with my commentary back at Corey Mashburn's crazy statements. And again, it's going to be another one of those moments, because I have had enough. I, I, I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. And we need, I need all of you out there to support what I'm doing and support what we're doing together because I, I, I need you to get mad. I, I can't just have you sit back and expect that we're going to make this happen. Oh, Mike Can's going to do it. The medical compassion group's going to do it. We're going to make medical marijuana happen. We're going to legalize it. No, we need you to get mad as hell. We need you to stand up. We need you to, to, to throw down and, and not take it. When they call us disingenuous, we got to call them back disingenuous because you know what? We've never been disingenuous. We tell the truth. We tell our stories. We have our life experiences. We're not funded. We're not looking for a job uh, in the drug czar department like probably Dr. Kevin Sabet is. We're private citizens raising money and spending time doing activism for good causes. And I've had enough, and I'm not going to take it anymore, and, and I want to see the same from you. We need warriors, we need to stand up, and we need to vote yes on question three.
November 6th. You know what to do. Get the word out. We are not losing. We're not going out like that. I want to see the biggest win ever for medical cannabis in Massachusetts, in the nation. Let's do this. Let's get more votes for this than we even got for Decrem. November 6th. I also wanted to uh, take a quick second to uh, actually thank the Walden Forum, even though their moderator did uh, lay his hands physically on me and they did kind of shut me down. I, I, I do appreciate that they had that forum and allowed an open microphone so that I could speak and ask those questions and others in the public. I know a lot of the uh, so-called debates, let's put that in uh, parentheses, just like they put medical mar the other side puts medical marijuana in parentheses. Their debates have not been debates at all. Kevin, Dr. Kevin Sabet has not let anyone have an open microphone at any of the other uh, so-called debates. This was different because the Walden Forum was in charge, and I, I really want to... I, I know the Walden Forum uh, maybe it might not be happy with me because I did ask the tough questions and I wasn't backing down, but i got to give them the big props for doing this and letting us speak and letting us weigh in on it. Um, I also want to thank uh, uh, Matt from Mask and Normal for filming. Uh, I was a little disappointed he shut off the camera when it started to get hairy. I think he got scared. I can understand he's never seen anything like that pro before, probably. But uh, give the props to the president of Mass Can. I didn't see anyone else from Mass Can Normal there. I haven't seen many people from Mass Can Normal out at these activism events lately. So I got to give it to Matt because he was there. He was the only one besides myself that showed up for that event. Um, it, you know, that's the other thing, too. Uh, I think people are, are coasting. They think that we're just going to get this naturally, that we're going to win no matter what now. We've gotten very confident. We need to continue to do the work. We need to bring people out. When Dr. Kevin Sabet is out speaking in public in Massachusetts, he's coming in from D.C. You know, yeah, he lives here now. He just moved here. But I, I want to see 100 people on our side there calling him out, just like I did. Call him disingenuous. He's called you disingenuous. He said that you're disingenuous for wanting medical cannabis. He said you're disingenuous for wanting legalization. No. Kevin, Dr. Kevin Sabet has been disingenuous from the get-go. And I'm not going to stop. You know, I know uh, he had contacted me and wanted to have a cup of coffee after the election. And I agreed to it. I'll go out to cop have coffee with him and definitely talk politics. I have no personal issues with him. I have no hate. But I'm not backing down. I don't care if uh, we have the best cup of coffee and best conversation ever. I'm not backing down for nobody. And that's what I want to see from you folks. I want to see you guys care about it. We need, you know, as Judge Jim Gray says, you got to start taking the shit personally. He doesn't say shit, but I'm going to say it. He says, take it personally. Take this shit personally. Don't let anyone back you off of what you believe in. Stand up. We have ultimate power. Look at, look at, look at what we're doing here. And, I, and I, again, I want to thank everyone who's been subscribing to my YouTube. My YouTube's been going through the roof, getting new subscribers every day. He used to be at 2,200. Now I'm hitting 2300 just you know in one week thank you so much thank you for spreading the word on what i'm doing thanks big shout out to the weed blog too they've been supporting a lot of my videos thank you next question i'm a medical marijuana user i actually uh i used to wrestle in this at this high school at this gym uh, that's how i that's how i end up with a bad back i have daily pain, back pain um, Dr. Sabet, you, Sabet, you had uh, mentioned pain as being one of the number one uses for medical cannabis. No, what I said was that the vast majority of people in these states are there for pain and that that, that ranges. I mean, clearly, as I was saying, neuropathic severe pain is going to be different than what's happening in some places like California where people are coming in with, you know, they've done these underground, undercover investigations for people coming in with, you know, uh, sore ankle because of high heels. Whatever. There's when, a huge when, range. When you, when, you, when you brought that up, though, you seem to, to discount people who are younger looking, um, people that had checked off the box for pain. And I find that that's, talking to hundreds of people, that is actually probably what most people use it for. There are cases like MS and AIDS that you mentioned, but that's, that's rare. Yes, there is a question. The, question. the question that I have, before I was really interrupted by uh, one of the campaigners for no in question three, which was rude to a medical patient in the state of Mass. I might I say, my question is this. When you, when you bring up the fact that 100% marinol, THC, 50% pill form, when someone takes a pill that knocks them off for like eight hours, why can't I use a vaporizer? Ten, you said 10% was an issue. Why is 100% okay? 100% THC is in marinol. So we're looking at a leaf with 10%. I don't want 100% THC. I don't even want the 50. I want the leaf. 
You know, I don't want anything stronger or less strong. I want the medicine that works for me. You know, that helps me take my pain away. Um, the other so, issue I have is wait, the, wait, wait, the, the wait. no, no, I want to finish this. The No on Three campaign has called us disingenuous as cannabis reformers. Uh, why should we trust anything you say when you seem to twist? It, there's a lot of twisting of the facts. Mr. Myron was all honest. I, I may not agree with everything he said tonight, but he wasn't trying to hide things. It, there's always seems like you're trying to twist things for your benefit. Well, actually, Wrap Mike, up, and I responded to your email today, and I didn't check if you had responded back, but in terms of uh, the issue of twisting work. So I, I'm happy to, I'd like you know, just to know specifically where you think the no campaign so we can the, the disingenuous. When you, when you say that we're disingenuous. We're, we're not going to have a debate. Uh, I'm, I'm asking happy, I'm answer the question. I'm happy to go it through that. Question. How can we believe your words when you're saying we're disingenuous, when you say we're this vocal minority, when 65% voted yes on question two in 2008, 59 supports, 59 uh, percent support legal right now, uh, medical, and even a higher number in the state of mass support legal. You say it's some kind of rock, like that we're trying to secretly legalize it and all this rest of this. Okay, I, I, I understand the question. I, the question but I think you've made your point. I, I'm asking you though, how can we trust you? <laughs> I'm ready to answer. Well, so I, I, I'd like to answer that.